Welcome Highline community. Thanks for joining us today. Um, I'm going to share our screen here so you can see the presentation we have for you. My name is Nicole Hoyes Wilson. I'm a faculty member here and a counselor in the Counseling Center. I've had the privilege of being a part of this community for four years now. So this is the first part of our Spring into Wellness series. Um, so we're gonna spend the next half an hour just talking a little bit about the services we provide, just letting you know what counseling is, who we are, and how COVID-19 has impacted our mental health both individually and collectively, and some tips on, on how to work through that, um, counseling being one of those. So at 12 o'clock, we're gonna talk about that at 12.30. Josh Magallanes is gonna talk about anxiety. I know, boy, we're getting toward finals. We're almost through the quarter. People are feeling zoomed out and Josh can, can help us talk through that. At one o'clock, we have our presentation on depression with Daryl and Harris. And she's gonna to speak to how do we still stay socially connected even if we're physically distanced, which is really important. Um, and then between 1.30 and 3, we're going to have a QA and a um, where you can talk with all of the counselors um, and we can just be there for you and, and answer some questions. So I, I did want to acknowledge that this is a really hard time um, for many people, um, collectively, as a country, um, and individually. You're balancing a lot taking classes, um, doing things in a new way, learning in a new way overnight. Many of you are, are parents. Um, and even in isolation, as we're doing this, we want you to know that you're not alone and that we're here to help. Um, here's what we do. Okay. So all of us are, um, licensed mental health counselors. We provide free confidential services and we hold the vulnerability that you share with us, your stories. Many of you have welcomed us into your homes via um, Zoom. We just hold those stories really dear and respect them. Know that you have a place to, to share your stories, your life, um, and, and that we, we just hold that dear. It is an honor. We provide personal, educational, and career counseling one-on-one. -on -one. So personal counseling, that's often talking about issues of depression, anxiety, um, and just trying to make your way through life. Educational, so everything from uh, study tips to um, thinking about which classes to take um, to just how to deal with maybe test anxiety and career counseling, so what's next, right? So kind of if you're feeling a little stuck and, and want some, some help talking about that, that's a great place to do that. What I love about counseling is that it's someone to talk with who can help you to find healing, discover coping strategies, and just cheer you on as you reach your goals. It's someone outside of your family, um, but we all deserve a place to just be and be heard know that you drive the counseling process. You um, choose what you get to talk about and when. And so we're just here for you and it's free. Um, we offer virtual counseling sessions during the spring. Looks like we'll be doing that again in the summer um, through phone if you don't necessarily want it to do face-to-face -face via Zoom if you're Zoomed out or through Zoom. We have emergency drop-in sessions daily and then we do a lot of referrals to community resources. Um, we just really want to provide you with wraparound support. So here we are. Um, wanted to share with you just how to, how to connect with us. But these are the five counselors, Daryl and Harris, Gloria Rose Kepping, Joshua Magallanes, myself, and Tom Humphreys. Um, there's a lot of ways to make an appointment. You can call us directly, you're gonna get Vince and Aisha. Um, and Vince and Aisha, you're going to see either visually or over the phone, but are great at being able to connect with us and, and get you an appointment quickly. You can email us, and then you can also visit our website. Um, 
on the website, we have a lot of resources. I encourage you to look through that, but you can also um, type in and um, request an appointment that way. If you want to see people face to face, um, we have we have Zoom office lobby hours Monday through Thursday as well. So we're in this collective historical time, right, around COVID. And it's a challenge. Um, there's this collective stress and anxiety that many of us are going through. Um, not sure of what's going to happen next. Many of us are experiencing grief, some losing people to this disease, um, but also a loss of what life was 10 weeks ago. Um, maybe a loss of a job. Many people have lost jobs. Um, a loss of a routine. We've also seen an escalation of fear and bigotry, um, particularly around hate crimes targeted to our Asian communities. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention um, the recent killing of George Floyd and how that's impacting the Black community and Black Lives Matter. We also know that not everyone's experience in this is the same or equitable. We also know that COVID-19 is impacting disproportionately communities of color, particularly our Latinx community, our indigenous community, and our black communities. And not all of us are able to safely shelter at home. So for many folks, staying home, getting a little extra family time has been lovely. Um, but not all of that it, it is the same. And we acknowledge that. And again, you're also juggling multiple responsibilities all in new ways. So there's a lot of stress and that impacts us mentally, emotionally, physically, because with that rise in stress also impacts our cortisol levels, our stress response hormones. And so you might see that as increased agitation, irritability, mood swings, um, physical you know, muscle aches, um, feeling forgetful maybe a bit of brain fog or uh, something, an assignment that used to be easier is harder to do now, it takes more time. Um, if you have a chronic health issue or mental health condition, that can be exacerbated by this. Also, folks are looking for a way to, to cope. And so you may see an increased use of alcohol, drugs, tobacco use, um, because we're just trying to, to find ways to cope. So in the Counseling Center, we came up with some tips that we think have been helpful. Um, there you go. One is to moderate your news and your social media intake. Every time we look at the news or another story, it causes that increased anxiety and increased stress response in our bodies, right? So our goal is to, to ground that, to bring that down. Some of that can be around creating a structure by keeping a regular routine, getting up in the morning around the same time, eating three meals a day, um, just a routine. It doesn't have to be the same routine you had, but trying to keep a routine. Some deep breathing exercises are helpful, as well as other forms of meditation. Just taking a deep breath in, holding it, deep breath out. As Daryl Lynn will talk later, find ways to stay connected. Um, you know, our family's been having Sunday dinners where we're all Zooming, everyone from ages 10 to 90, you know, we're all connected. Engage in those creative activities. So um, sometimes that's the first to go. I know that for me, gardening is really helpful and that's my creative outlet and my, my garden, my house plants have never looked better, right? So whatever that is for you. This one is really hard. And this one's around focusing on what is in your control and trying not to focus too much on what's not out of your control. So much feels out of control and is anxiety producing, but I can think about, Nicole, what do I have control over? I have control over when I wake up in the morning. I have control over getting outside. I have control over the food I'm putting in my body, right? Offer yourself and others grace. Things may take a little longer, you may find that your moods are up and down. You may find yourself a little more irritable with yourself, other people. Try to give people the benefit of the doubt and know that a lot of people are hurting right now, including yourself. Another, move your body. Um, 
we know that just moving, getting outside if you can is helpful. Again, decreases that stress hormone and, and, and just makes us feel better. And again, reach out for help and offer help and support when you can. Um, if you haven't thought about talking with a counselor, now in college is an excellent time. You're in this moment of transition. Our services are free, they're confidential. And again, you decide what we talk about and when we do and know that your stories are gonna be held um, in confidence, but also with deep respect. So I hope that you get a chance to connect with us. Um, again, here's how to make an appointment. So again, you can call us, you can email us, you can visit us, you can drop in during our lobby hours. Um, and we look forward to getting to know you. So with that, if you have any questions, I should have mentioned this earlier, please use the Q and A um, function where you can submit a question. Also know that this is going to be recorded. So if you are putting out a question, just know that this is gonna be recorded. You can listen to it later as well. So I know we've got a hand. We'll just open it up. chats. Okay. So I don't see any questions right now. We're going to hang out for a little bit. Um, there's also some other counselors on the call as well. Um, if they want to just say hello, you're welcome to. Um, but we're just going to stay here for a little bit um, and welcome your questions. Ah, so someone asked a question. Is there an option to meet with a counselor just through text? Uh, we don't right now. Um, however, the crisis line, which is located on our website, does have a text option. Um, so we encourage you to use that. But we do have an opportunity you could call us. Some people call us while going for a walk. Some people call us while um, they may be in their car. Um, so that's a possibility too, if you don't feel like you have a place that's confidential in your home. Um, so that's an option. Thanks for that question. Okay. Ah, so someone asked, um, is this recording gonna be sent and can we receive the PowerPoint? Um, if you ask us for that, absolutely. Um, happy to send that PowerPoint. In fact, I think this very PowerPoint is on our website. Um, and Vince, can we add all of them to our website? We can. Do you help um, students with educational advice? Um, we do. We do. Um, as faculty, we are uh, advisors. That's part of our academic advising is, is part of our role as faculty, um, but really we're, we're here to support you. And oftentimes everything's all connected, right? So it could be, uh, I'm not sure what I wanna do. I'm not sure what classes to take. I feel pressure because my family wants me to do one thing. Um, and I'm also feeling really anxious about a particular class. All, there are no topics that are off limits, right? So we can talk through all of those. If we don't have the answer, we'll make sure to connect you with somebody who does. We can help you to navigate kind of the system of education here. Great question, thank you. Any other questions? Love to hear from you. I would love for you to, to stick around. Um, yes, I would like to ask. Okay, good question. Let me try to find it here. Can't quite 
quite see the whole question. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Some context. So I'd like to ask, what is this event for in general? All right, so typically every spring, all of our counselors, we do a, um, a wellness week, right? So we think about um, all the ways in which we can support our mental, emotional, physical health. So this year we're doing it a little differently. And we also know that we're in the middle of a pandemic, right? So we wanted to make it a little bit more um, targeted to, to what, what students are experiencing now. So. We have a series of events. The first is today just talking about counseling, that we're here for you and how to make an appointment. And then the, the second workshop um, directly following is around anxiety. And then after that, depression. And then a kind of a Q&A with counselors. So I really just want you to know what our services are um, and, and want to be there to support you in any way we can. Does that help? Oh, good. Thanks, Duncan. All right, well, stick with us. Um, we're going to hang out for a little bit to answer any questions. And then please join us again at 1230 for our talk on anxiety, one o'clock for the talk on depression, um, and then our Q&A with our counselors at 130. Thanks for coming with us. Um, we'll see you again at 1230. Take care, everyone.